What's up guys? Supercar Blondie here in Switzerland. I've got to keep my voice down a little bit because this is a very quiet little town called Morta. And as you can see, it is such like the typical Swiss village. It is super, super cute. And we're here on the main stretch. Here I am with this incredible car, the new AMG GT four door. The cool thing about this car is it has performance, top performance. It actually has the most powerful engine out of the entire AMG series. And it also has long distance comfort. So it's like the best of both worlds combined. And this is what I've been driving around in Switzerland for the last couple days. And I wanna show you what this car is all about. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just click that button below the below the picture right now. Click that button, subscribe to the channel, give me a quick thumbs up because we've got a lot to show you. Right, let's get started. It has been a long month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my little stash here. Oh no. This is how I keep on the road filming every day for six weeks. Off we go. Hit the road in the new uh, GT4 door. This car has partial autonomous driving. The only other time I've experienced something like this is driving a Tesla. That's how like advanced this technology is. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna pretty much drive for me. Pull this button up. Okay. Now it's driving on its own. I've taken my uh, foot off the gas and what's gonna happen is it is just going to follow the car in front at the same distance the entire way. So if the car in front slows down, it will automatically slow down as well and it's gonna keep judging that distance. There's a little green light here that says you need to keep your hands on the wheel at all time, but for the purpose of demonstration, for two seconds, I'm just gonna lift my hands off very quickly and show you how it turns on its own. And what it's doing is it's following the lane. So when the lane turns, the car will turn. Let's just wait until the next turn. Here we go, look, it's wanting me to put my hands back on the steering wheel. It is keeping that distance constantly between me and the van in front. If I wanna change lanes, let's just try that. So I'm just gonna put the indicator on to the left and then move the wheel. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! <laughs> so I changed lanes and then on the left, as soon as it got to this lane here, it stopped and stayed in the middle lane. Now here it goes turning without my help whatsoever. Can you see the road going left? It is doing that all on its own. This is pretty much autonomous driving. It's driving on its own. I could sit back and do nothing, but of course you can't do that. You need to be super aware of what's actually going on um, and always keep your hands on the wheel. So I just took them off there for a couple of seconds so you could see that I was it was doing this all on its own. Now it's speeding up, it's speeding up, speeding up to 95 kilometers an hour. Because a car changed out of the lane in front of me, there was enough room for it to speed up again. And here we are on the, on the Autobahn in Switzerland, going from Bern to Morton. Even if you have both hands on the wheel, it will light up red every now and again to indicate that you need to let it know you're still awake. And so you just gotta nudge the wheel a little bit, like turn it a tiny bit so it knows that you're still there in control of the car. You make sure that you're in between the lines and that you've maintained a safe distance. It is all about safety because especially when you're tired and you've got a three hour journey ahead of you, um, you're not always going to concentrate as much as you should on the road and, and the cars in front of you and around you and behind you and everything. And it's it's automatically judging everything going on around you. So it is it is super, super safe. It's a great feature. Here, which I think is also really cool, is you have hotspot keys. This, when it's on, means the engine turns off when you're still. So stand still at lights, for example. If you don't want that, if you hate that feature, then you can put that as a hot key here and access that really quickly and turn it on or off, you see? But if that button isn't important to you, then you can change that to something else. Traction control off, for example, or straight into sports, or open the exhaust. So if you like to open the exhaust, a lot then you can have that as a key key feature out of all the amg engines from mercedes this 
one is the most powerful and it is in a saloon, four door saloon, which you would just never expect. The ultimate AMG sports car, for example, the GTR, has 580 horsepower and this one has just less than 640 horsepower in a family saloon, four door saloon. You just never would expect that. This car has the most powerful AMG engine. And I'm sitting here behind the wheel going, actually, this car has more power than my Lamborghini Huracan. This here, this is a whole new user interface, which is really nice. You can see this on the new GTR Roadster as well. And if you haven't yet seen that video, go check it out. The link is in the bio below. Because this car is a V8 bit turbo, this center console is made to look like a V8. These are the separate cylinders, so eight cylinders going down like that, which is a nice little touch. Nice one, Gordon. <laughs> This is the fastest AMG car. Out of all the AMGs on the market, this is the fastest. And that's kind of crazy because you can also fit your entire family in the car. So it's got, this one's got three back seats, but what you can do is opt in just to have two back seats and have the middle, like as a standing middle console for the back as well, which is pretty cool. Um, here is another cool feature inside this glove box is a perfume bottle now this scent that's in there is called hashtag amg you are getting the smell of an amg through the air vents and you can of course opt not to have that scent or you can opt to have a different scent if you'd like or nothing at all all right first thing is you have soft door closed so you can just kind of go like this and it'll latch itself massive boot you can fit at least two good sized suitcases in here and a lot more now here with these two buttons what you can actually do is throw these back seats down so you have even more room so let's just go for that oh there it goes this one hey look at that wow look how much room you have then to throw things in the back This car has active aero. That refers to usually the wing moving up and down, right? Now, this at the front of the car also moves. Now, in a split second, what it can do is open all of these vents and feed more air into the car. And that can just happen really, really quickly. Now the cool thing is, is that this side refers to this screen on the right and then this side of the wheel refers to the screen on the left. So here you go, press on this and press this one for this screen, home screen. Ooh. We got a real crackle, huh? Nice. And this has all wheel steering. What that means is the back wheels steer as well as the front wheels. So what will happen is at high speeds, the back wheels will steer the same uh, direction as the front wheels. When it's going slowly, the car, these back wheels will steer in the opposite direction of the front wheels so that it helps you corner better. At the moment, this is an all wheel drive. Now the cool thing is, is that you can turn it into a rear wheel drive, which allows you to drift, which is pretty cool. That's it guys, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Love you very much. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next video around and about. Probably not in Switzerland next time. Who knows, somewhere else in the world with another awesome car for now. I love you, I'm out. Mwah.